this stuff? Ooh, where do I begin? Um, so it is liquid B12, 2000 milligrams. And um, it tastes great. First of all, it's, it's red. It will stain, so be careful with it. But um, it's a dropper and um, it, it definitely gives you a kick. It gives you a boost of energy. Um, I think it, look at that, what does it say? It doesn't really give you a recommended dosage. I personally take four dropperfuls in the morning. It helps me uh, wake up and get out of bed and leaves me feeling pretty good throughout the day. Um, I recently saw that documentary on Netflix called Game Changers produced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And uh, I'm definitely a fan actually since that, that moment, or uh, it was around Thanksgiving when I watched it, actually, I think maybe the day or two after Thanksgiving. So I ate a lot of turkey. And then the next day I kind of quit, <laughs> quit eating meat cold turkey. Um, I've been pretty much uh, a vegan since then. Um, I'm not like super strict. Every now and then I will go out to Wawa and get a meatball sandwich if I feel, uh, if I'm drunk and <laughs> don't have self-control. But, you know, it is what it is. And I actually think that a little meat every now and then is a good thing. Um, but, you know, when I'm going to the store and just buying groceries for myself, I am not shopping in the meat or fish aisle at all. It's just vegetables and fruits and grains um, and some crackers, which is grains. But, you know. Um, the less processed stuff, the better. Anyway, um, so about this B12 stuff, what do I want to say? Um, well, oh, so the documentary said something that's pretty interesting. Um, B12, people think that if you eat, if you don't eat meat, well, you're not going to get your B12. And it turns out, according to the documentary, the reason why there is B12 in animals is because when the animals eat the food, they also eat some of the dirt. Okay, apparently there's B12 in the dirt. It's not like produced in the animal's body because think about it. Like if, if a, a cow or, you know, you have a hamburger and you want to get your B12, well, a cow's an animal. Well, <laughs> just like I'm not saying that cows and people are the same, but we're both animals. Like if, if a cow doesn't produce B12, um, Probably people don't produce B12 naturally. So the animal gets the B12 from eating the soil. Now, uh, you know, to go down the rabbit hole a little bit further, unfortunately, the farming uh, practices that we do has really depleted the soil. So there's not even B12 left in the soil anymore, okay? So if you're not eating the meat, Oh, oh, and the last component <laughs> of that is that the only reason why the animals have B12 nowadays is because they are given B12 supplements. Yes, you heard it right. The cows no longer get B12 from the dirt because there's no longer B12 in the soil. So the, the farmers, the manufacturers of the meat give extra vitamins and enhancements to these animals that we eat so that they are nutritious. Crazy, crazy. We are so out of balance as a planet, as a society. Uh, I hope we can get this together, guys. Um, anyway, so you're, it doesn't matter if you eat meat or not. The fact of the matter is um, you need to be supplementing. Uh, you can eat great food. You can eat uh, organic fruits and vegetables. Uh, unfortunately, the soil just is not as healthy as it used to be. So uh, it's really important. And I, I began to feel this actually a couple months ago. I was not taking, I kind of like, you know, go into spurts of buying a lot of supplements and then also not taking any supplements. And I wasn't taking any supplements for a while. And I started to feel like, why do I feel empty? Why do I feel like sluggish? Why do I feel like something is not right? Um, and that's not good because uh, if you read Kevin Trudeau's book, uh, Natural Cures, they want you to know, according to him, the four reasons people get sick 
is because they have toxins in the body. That's number one. Number two is nutrient nutrient deficiencies. And I feel like that's what I started to experience, actual you know, nutritional deficiency. Even though I was eating a bunch of healthy food, um, it's just not what it used to be. So, uh, and then just to finish the list, um, electromagnetic chaos. Oh, that was the fourth one. Electromagnetic chaos and stress. I believe those were the four. Stress as well. Okay, so those four things. You want to avoid those four uh, if you want to stay healthy. So, yeah, I'm back on the vitamin kick. I know that, um, you know, all multivitamin, all multi, <laughs> all multivitamins are not can created equal. Some of them have B12, but just a little bit. Uh, you know, but I actually wanted to go the extra step and buy this as a separate supplement because I believe that this is a very important vitamin uh, for energy. If you're feeling sluggish, if you want that extra boost, um, and you actually just need it to, you know, to survive. Uh, B12 is one of those essential things that you need. So yeah, highly recommend. I actually really like this brand as well. I have not compared it against others, but I am very satisfied with the results I'm getting from this. So no need to really go searching for others. Uh, and you know, if you've been watching my videos, I like to do that. So yeah, um, five star rating in my book. Um, check it out if you're interested. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you liked this video, please remember to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Welcome. I'm happy that you're watching, especially if you watch this all seven minutes so far. So yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you on the other videos.